Welcome to Gamer Shiny. Today we're doing an unboxing of Unmatched Slings and Arrows by Restoration Games. I got this as a birthday present recently from Kevin and I want to thank him for that because he knows that I love Shakespeare and all that. I was going to buy this for myself but then I was just been holding off just because of um, if you guys haven't seen our news and updates video we're trying to save money for our new baby so that's why I hold off on buying for myself, but I'm just glad that Kevin got me this as a prime present because he knows I like Shakespeare, and I'm just surprised that they added uh, William Shakespeare himself and Hamlet and Wayward Sisters and Tatiana in the set, but I'm too excited. Uh, I'm really excited about this set, but before I get carried away, let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, so we got the box right here, and I, Kevin, did correct me while after doing that intro. I did, it's Tatiana, not, or Tatiana. I, I apologize for that, but before I open the box, I want to show you guys, uh, Tatiana, thank you. Tatiana. Uh, Tatiana, thank you for correcting me, Kev, off camera. I want to show you guys the promo card that was featured with the order of this game with the Wayward Sisters from the Cursed Plate, and I'm just going to say this, Macbeth, because I don't know when I'll um, see Macbeth, so yeah, that, I think that's really cool. They always have like promo cards that has foiling on the cards, which is really cool, so I just thought I would show you guys that first, but I'm loving the artwork on this game so far, and I want to show you guys the side of the box because they featured the characters on the, each side of the boxes too, which is really cool, so yeah. There you go. I just really love this sh that the Hamlet one. There you go. So you can see it with this famous scene with um, Yorick in the original play. I've read Hamlet so many times, so I know the scene that that's referencing. So I don't know why I'm rushing this. I forgot to show you guys the back before I started opening it. So, but yeah, it's still like any other unmatched games. They just say, show you the on um, the a brief. Um, description on how the game's played and characters are featured and all that. So yeah, getting this thing open. Just got overexcited opening this box before I show the back. What the heck is wrong with me? But yeah, just opening the box. Yeah, I know Kevin's telling me to calm down, and I'm trying to calm down. <laughs> so you got the rule book here. Yeah, it just tells you a brief game of unmatch and. Pretty sure there's a guidelines on how to play those characters, but pretty sure it, it, they'll be figured out. And also, they advertise other how much games as well. And those are the ones that are available right now. I know that they had other sets too, like with Marvel, but they discontinued that. So, so I'm glad that Kevin and I got some of the Marvel ones that we wanted. So yeah, and this is. Um, the set rolling game, uh, uh, the set, how you set up in the game and all that jazz. Okay, so the first thing we got is the Wayward Sisters, which is very interesting. They have a cauldron, which is really cool, which is really appreciative that they have an element that fits one character versus other characters that you play in on match, so that's appreciated. So I'm punching these down, not up, like one of the mistakes that I've did in previous <laughs> unboxing videos. And Kevin was like, why are you doing that? You could just punch down, not up, because everything would go f flying. So if I do, okay, got those out. And next is Hamlet. So, oh wait, there's a, there are scorings for uh, the scoring. Um, wheel for or the life line for Shakespeare, Hamlet, and um, Titania and um, Oberon, her sidekick. Oh yeah, I forgot that Hamlet also had sidekicks, and I can't pronounce their names, but but still, I'm excited about this set either way. I really like 
the Shakespeare one because it has all the papers flying around and stuff because he's a playwriter, so it kind of makes sense for that. So that kind of is cool. And also a quarrel is kind of hard to see, but um, a quarrel a quail that they used back in those times. Oh, interesting. Another feature that from uh, difference from other um, sets from a match, Hamlet has to be, yeah, there you go, and not to be from his famous soliloquy from the play, which is very interesting. I want I'm kind of curious how that works. And I know before getting this game, Kevin asked me which character do I want to play as first. I have no idea. I am between William Shakespeare himself or Hamlet because Hamlet's one of my favorite plays. So, yeah. Now I'm getting Titania out. Oh, no, wait. Tatiana. Oh my gosh. Getting those two names mixed up. What the heck's wrong with me? And I'm a Shakespeare nerd. What the heck? <laughs> uh, Titania. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I know there's an anime that Kevin and I watch whose nick nickname is um, Tatiana. So, <laughs> uh, no, oh my gosh, uh, Tatanya, uh, Tatanya. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Kevin's judging me over. It. And what I really like about this board is um, it's the Globe Theater itself, which is really cool. I know I want to go there one day when. Kevin and I go to England whenever that might be, but that's on my bucket list for sure. And it, and there's a backside of it too, which is pretty much the same, except it just has like the rings that represents the area. So well, I do prefer this side because each circles have different patterns from fabrics from Shakespeare's time, which is really cool. So I really like that. Okay, so now to the part that always gets to me, which part should I do? Oh, I should probably put the the characters scoring together so I can um, get that done. So, I've been a Shakespeare nerd since I was in high school and middle school because I, the first Shakespeare play I ever read was Romeo and Juliet, which is no surprise because in a lot of plays they always use Romeo and Juliet and Kevin and I are like uh there's more plays than um Romeo and Juliet because Shakespeare himself wrote a lot of plays like maybe over 20 I don't know I'm probably over um overthinking the number oh wait these are the facts I need the other ones too so so yeah from the list of Shakespeare plays I actually read myself are Romeo and Juliet, Julius Caesar, um, Hamlet, which I've read three times because of college classes that I was taking, and Zero Regrets because I like Hamlet. It's one of my favorite tragedy plays. So, so yeah, um, uh, trying to get this thing together. This is always a tough part for me because I don't have really tough fingers. So, <laughs> um, oh boy. I think this is supposed to be on the other side. Oh, man. Ah, da, 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 da. Ah. This part's always complicated for me. Ah, okay, just trying to get this on. Or I could try to do this off camera because this is going to be time consuming. I'll, I'll handle these later. So, And of course, these tokens are the sidekicks that some of these characters have. No, I don't want to throw away the bag because I don't think I need the bag, but. This is very interesting. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot that Shakespeare have like, like sidekicks, but they don't have their own life form. It, and it's actors. So here you go, it's the close up. They're both, they're two sided. So I thought that's cool. <laughs> for Shakespeare anyway. So, okay. And then there's Hamlet's sidekicks. Like I said, I can't pronounce their names at the moment because it's been a long time since I've read Hamlet. And then here's Titania's, uh, no, 
Titania, I think I'm, I hope I'm saying her name right. Okay, Kevin said I am. Here's her sidekick, her husband, Ober, Oberon. Uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've read um, A Midsummer Night's Dream, so yeah. Just gonna take these on the side. So, just because I think it's time consuming to put these together anyway, with. If it was like a two. Um, two characters said I wouldn't mind, but since it's four characters, it's gonna be a little time consuming. So, okay, get these on a side. Oop, just putting everything on a side for now. Okay, oh boy, which cards do I want to see first? Oh boy, okay, let's see. I'll just start with Shakespeare himself because he's an author, and I'm still surprised that they're going with um, and him. To unmatch just because like I know some people really don't like Shakespeare in general like like I know some of the play plays that I've read it's like he's like ahead of his time but I'm just like I still think he's a good writer either way for all those plays that he wrote but I know that I've read A Midsummer Night's Dream that's another one that of his that I've read um, Much Ado About Nothing is another one The Tempest which is my favorite of his plays um Othello is another one, and um, King Lear, that was another one I've read. So, so yeah, here's some um, his ability cards, and of course it shows you what actions that you can do in each round. So here's the top. Boy, I like the design of this. This looks so cool. And yeah, so here's one of his cards. Alas, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of um, Elizabethan English terms because of um, the time period that all of his plays have been taking place. All are punished. Oh, that sounds like a that came from Romeo and Juliet for the prince. Um, a two brato. I'm sorry if I pronounced the words here, but I really like the design of these cards. Horror. Oh my gosh. Him with a as a dead person. Oh my gosh. So weird seeing him in his clothes with just a skull. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! Someone got killed. Well, a lot of his tragedy plays, someone does get killed in them, so that kind of makes sense. Oh, this one's another horrifying looking one. Oh, same with this one. Oh, horse hat. The horror cars have different designs. That's interesting. Ugh! One with a spider, really? <laughs> I don't like spiders. Why can't it be follow the butterfly? So, a separate thing. Um, my kingdom for a horse. Yeah, I still like the design of these cards. Whoop, almost dropped that one. Once more on to, I'm gonna read this right side up. Once more onto the breach. Almost looks like um, his pens are, his quarrels. Uh, quills are flying, which is cool, like an arrow. Places, places, that's what a lot of directors would say, so that kind of makes sense that there's a card for that. Revise, yep, he, as a writer, he probably would have revised a lot of his work, so that one kind of makes sense, fitting with Shakespeare. Again, yep, a lot of rehearsals, they have to get the characters right, so also makes sense with these cards. Um, such sweet sorrow. Oh, yep. Romeo and Juliet. There's Juliet off the balcony in that famous scene. The Ides of March. Yep, that's Julius Caesar right there. <laughs> yeah, some of these cards, I do get the reference of his other plays. That kind of makes sense to me. So, Deceive. There's another one of his. And that'll be it for Shakespeare. And I will put these, those lives in their spot. But for right now, since I'm way until after filming us to do that, I'm going to hold off. But I'll pull away his sidekicks right here. I'm going to go for the Wayward Sisters now. I still have not read Macbeth. That's a goal of mine. But right now, I'm just... Since I've been off of, co out of college for like five years, I'm just... Haven't been in the mood to read some classics, so I know I could read them in my own time.
time now, but it's just... I don't know why sometimes it's kind of time-consuming, and plus I want to reread some of the classics that I like. So, yeah. Oh, forgot about Shakespeare's character card there. Here's the Wayward Sisters cards. Same thing. And I'll show you the top of the deck, which I really like with the writing in the back. Ground and in the green smoke that looks really cool. So, okay, all seem familiar. That's a good one. Um, this one is Curious Familiar with a cat, black cat in the background. Oh, that one. I like that one. Um, double Double. And that's what what they say in their spell, I think. Like I said, I haven't met Red Macbeth. Toil and Trouble. Yep, that's what they say in the place. I'm really loving the artwork in these cards. Okay. Fire, Burn, Cauldron, Bubble. <sighs> Again, probably a quote from the actual play. Hurley Burley. That one's a scary looking one, but cool looking at the same time. And there's prickling of my thumb. Oh, ew, someone stabbed themselves in the thumb. Probably part of the spell. Oh, that's all three of them. Ew, that must have been hurt. Um, prophecy, since they're witches, that kind of makes sense. Um, something wicked this way comes. That one's really cool. It almost looks like a skull fr coming from um, the cauldron. Um, the stars align. I really like that one. I also like the artwork for that one. Unnatural remedy. Looks like they just made a potion there with a skull, a skull in the background. Um, word. It looks like they just made a I don't know what you call it. Um, like a... Um, something that deals with, um... Witchcraft or something like that. I don't know. But that's it for the Wayward Sisters. I'm saving Hamlet for last thing as... Hamlet is one of my favorite places. Oh, that's... This is interesting. I never... Didn't even notice this. Apparently, Titania has, like, these little cards here. I'm gonna take them out of the bag. Just give me a... Second, I did not expect that. This is new to me. Glamour, um, glamours. I think that's what it says. I really like the artwork for that. Glamour greed. Yeah, here's that one. Glamour of invisibility. Glamour, glamour of uh, jealousy. Well, there is jealousy in the place, so that kind of makes sense from my memory. Glimmer of Rhyme, Glimmer of Love, and Glimmer of Sleep. So th these cards are interesting. Now I want to know how to play Tatiana because, uh, uh Titania, I pr let's pronounce her name again. Because these cards are interesting and I want to know how her character works just based on these cards alone. So I'm going to put these back and then now I'm going to open her deck. I'm really loving the artwork though. Uh, eh. sometimes these cards are easy to open, but I don't know why. They're becoming more difficult to open, so. Uh, come on. Good thing I didn't cut my nails before filming this, or this would be very difficult. Okay, there we go. Get the sleeves off. There we go. So here's uh, Titania's player card. And then here's the top of her deck, which I really like in the artwork. I wish Unmatched or Restoration Games sell artworks for Unmatched because I think they're really cool looking. So, okay. Why is that beautiful? There's that card right here. So, and I, I forgot who turns into a donkey. I know one character turns into a donkey, but I forgot who it was. Um... Uh, something bottom. I think that's his name. I bottom button bottom. Someone named Bottom. It's Kevin's confirming this. So, like I said, it's been years since I've read Midsummer Night's Dream, and I know it's one of the comedy plays. So yeah. Anyway, um, what fools these mortals be? That's oh, yeah. Um, 
Oberon right there. Fairy song. I forgot there's fairies in it, and I like fairies. So I gotta reread this play, because I keep forgetting how much I like fairies in fa fantasy, so... Boy, I'm loving the artwork on these cards. Oh my goodness. Um, Met by Moonlight. I like that one too. Um, Parting Gift. Yeah, seriously, I'm really loving this art. The artworks. Um, Protection of the Fairy Woods. Oh boy, they're very. They have a lot of talented artists for this game. Queen of the Fairies, which um, Titania is. So, a mentor, mentor, momentary, momentary glaze. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing these words. Some of them are very hard to pronounce for me. Um, the moon looks down. I also like the artwork for that one as well. Um, whisk away. I also like that one. Um, but a dream. It looks like that sword's turning into butterflies. But it's, I'm pretty sure it's fairy magic is what's causing that. Gift of the fair folk. And I'm, yep, that's pretty much it for Titania's deck. And I'll put her husband, Oberon, right there. And now Shakespeare himself, or not Shakespeare, Hamlet himself. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, Boy, this pregnancy's been making me more tired. <laughs> so, some half of the time I have no idea why I've been saying and Kevin has to repeat what I said because sometimes I don't remember a thing. Okay. Okay, so... There's Hamlet's player card. Oh, I forgot to put Titania's back there. Now there's Hamlet's. Here's the top of his deck, which I'm really liking the artwork. Again, Restoration Games should sell art prints of these cards, because I am loving the artwork. Okay, so, Blood Will Have Blood. I really like that artwork, too. Um, to Sleep. Perchance to Dream. I think that's part of his, um... Soliloquy, um, to be or not to be one. I'm trying to remember. Again, it's been a while since I've read Hamlet. If you guys don't know, if you're a big Disney fan, I don't know, if you don't, in case you don't know, did you know that The Lion King is based on Hamlet? Yeah, I didn't know that until, um, high school. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so that was like a fun fact. Okay, back to the cards. Um, Madden ain't, Madden ain't, in sight. Looks like Shakespeare's going crazy. Or not Shakespeare, Hamlet. Oh my gosh. Ugh. My brain today. Method and Madness. Looks like he's playing a game of chess. The chess was around when Shakespeare was around? I have no idea. I don't know the history of chess. I've tried playing chess, but I couldn't get the rules of the game, but. Okay. Kevin's confirming, yes, uh, chess, the game of chess has been around for a long time. Okay. Um, nothing either good or bad. That's with his college buddies. And then Outrageous Fortune. I really like that one. Looks like the arrows are going after him. The ghost, his father. <laughs> Really like that one. That's very spooky. <laughs> um, the plays, the thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Hamlet wants to reenact the play on what happened to his dad. That's why he wanted to do the play in the first place. Yeah, my memory's coming back to me with Hamlet. The readiness is all. Looks like he's writing a duel with someone. Um, the rest is silence. Hmm. This is an interesting card. It says, after combat, end your turn with this card. Very interesting. I don't usually read the cards when I do unboxing videos, because, but some of them are just so interesting to read um, for the abilities. Cruel to be kind. Boy, he looks very angry in that one. 
Uncertain Doom. Really like that one. Yep, that's the last one of Hamlet's. I'm gonna put the psychics here and um, his to be or not to be here. And this deck here. Like I said, I will put these together off camera, but for right now, uh, I'll put these together on off camera, but I'll put their characters together so that way you guys know that I packed them so so you guys know that I was not putting them away properly so I know I'm not putting them in properly because the way the box is organized but I'm putting the the things together off camera like I said and I'm gonna have Kevin help me out with that so so bear with me with that okay don't need Oh yeah, forgot before I forget, I gotta show you guys the figures. So here's one of the Wayward Sisters figures. I almost forgot about the important part of this game is the figures. And I'll show you the rest of the Wayward Sisters before I show you guys the figurines. I really like how with the Wayward Sisters they they am very unique. So you can tell the difference which one is which. Like I said, I never read Hamlet or uh, Macbeth, so I don't know who's who. But I love the Shakespeare figure. Oh my gosh. So cool. And there's Hamlet with Yorick. And here's Titania. The beautiful fairy that she is. It's okay. Here. Here. Oh wait, the roll books, the important things. Here. And voila! Unmatched slings and arrows. Well, that is it for unboxing slings and arrows. We're not going to be changing this game on this channel just because we already taught um, the ba Battle of Legends Volume 1 of Unmatched, but if you want to check that one out, we'll leave it in the corner as well as down below so you guys can Check it out and see how it's played. Because some a lot of unmatched games are played the, the same, but the, a lot of different characters have different abilities, so that's probably why some people want to learn how to play as some of these these characters. But yeah, I forgot to show you guys my shirt, the dragon with um, stack of books, because Shakespeare is a writer, and I'm a big bookworm, so that's why I wore the shirt. But anyways, I'm excited to try this one out. I'm still between Shakespeare and... Hamlet, but I'm also curious about Titania's ability just because of those little cards. So I'm kind of curious about her ability now, but I'll figure out which ones I want to play first when Kevin and I play this game. But if you enjoy this unboxing video, give us a thumbs up and click that. If you don't want to miss any unboxing videos just like this, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified for unboxing videos just like this. Be on the lookout for the next unboxing video, but until then, thanks for the views.